We've been hearing about Aaron Pico for so long that it almost sounds strange when he offers a simple statement on his career. I've come a long way in the 11 months I've been fighting. Pico told Majunki. It's true that it hasn't even been a full year that Pico has been competing professionally in MMA. And the coming a long way bit has some standing, too, considering Pico has bounced back from an unexpected, quick loss in his first Bellator outing, which was also his pro debut, with two impressive first-round knockouts. But Pico, 2-1 MMA, 2-1 BMMA, who's now set to meet Lee Morrison, 19-8 MMA, 0-0 BMMA, at Saturday's Bellator 199 at SAP Center in San Jose, California, also doesn't exactly feel like a beginner. And, as paradoxical as that may sound, the super prospect has a point there. I feel like I'm a veteran, Pico said. It kind of sounds funny, but it's good. I've had a lot of attention. I fought on the biggest card Bellator's had, in Madison Square Garden, on pay-per-view, in my first fight. Everything else, now, I'm just kind of getting used to it. Having a fight at the Forum, having a fight at Madison Square Garden, I'm going to fight at SAP Center. It seems kind of normal. But I like it that way. We know Pico made changes after Zach Freeman put a first-round end to his heavily promoted Bellator NYC debut. As he's discussed extensively, and with great praise, Pico started training at Team Body Shop, under MMA vet Antonio McKee and next to fellow up-and-comers like Antonio's son, AJ. McKee, and Kevin Ferguson Jr. That was a factor toward the gains Pico has made inside the cage, you know, like the ones that Shane Crutchen's internal organs got to feel after being crushed by Pico's thunderous hand at Bellator 192. But outside of it too, Pico has made different types of strides. At first, I didn't know how it works, how you go to the hotel and check in and do all that stuff. Pico said. But in reality, it might not make a difference, but it does make a difference. Just knowing where everything is at, knowing how the process works, showing up to the fight. The hours leading up to the fight. Now I have some experience under my belt, for sure. It's with that balance, a rare mix of self-confidence and self-awareness, that Pico approaches most things about his blooming career. Pico, who had his share of amateur accomplishments in wrestling and boxing, has never been secretive about his vision for himself in MMA, and it's one of greatness. But, at the same time, he's realistic about where he stands now and about what it will take to get to where he wants. Take his rough debut, for instance. At the time, it almost looked like Pico was fighting for a world title or something. But he knows, he wasn't. He still hasn't. And at no point did he feel like he'd made it. There's so much I've got to do, Pico said. Like my dad always says, I'm a hunter. I'll never become a farmer. I've got to hunt. You have to hunt. That's the way that I'm approaching my career. I never want to stay settled. I want to be a hunter and just keep going. Keep building. Get my title and defend it, and defend it. Because that's how you become a legend. By defending your title. And it's with the same confident but measured thinking that Pico goes about his chase for said 145 pound title. Like probably all of his peers, he's looking to get closer to it with each fight. And, to be honest, if Bellator told him next weekend he'd be fighting for it, he'd promptly say yes. I feel I'm ready, Pico said. I feel I can contend for a world title. But the waiting is fine, too. 
At 21, Pico is really not in a rush. I'm not going to go on camera saying, I need to do this, I deserve this, I deserve that. Pico said, no. For me, when my time comes and I get that phone call, I'll be ready for a world title, but all I can control right now is becoming the best fighter in the world. Slowly and slowly, I inch my way up. And when I get that phone call saying, Hey, you're fighting for a world title, I'll be ready, trust me. A statement Pico quickly amends. We will be ready, Pico said. I don't like saying, ah, uh, because there are so many people in my team that help me. We will be ready. Ultimately, there's only so much Pico can control. He's not interested in dictating the challenges he should meet on his path to the title, nor can he determine who gets to take fights with him and who doesn't. But he can, on his end, respect those who do. He can make sure he's training hard for them. He can eat the right types of food, and get the right amount of rest. He can focus his energy, both mental and physical, into becoming a better fighter. And if at some point, whether it's against Morrison or some future foe, all of this isn't enough. Well, we've seen bouncing back isn't really a problem for him, either. I know what to expect. Pico said, my debut loss was the biggest card, it was a pay-per-view. So what's the worst that could possibly happen? The worst that could possibly happen, happened. So now I just get on with it and keep improving. So far, so good. For more on Bellator 199, check out the MMA Rumors section of the site.